Hey, my lovely people. I think this is the last video for this evening. But, of course, uh, I was told, you know, to check. I was talked about, so I go to check. And I want to be infuriated, you know, I want to be angry. But the sad part is that I can't even be angry because, listen to them. I feel really kind of bad. I, I have to say I feel bad for them. I'm not, like, compassionate now or anything, but I can't be uh, infuriated. With Breezy, I can. Breezy. But, you know, I even wrote Breezy an email I wrote here. Thank you. It was, I had a good time tonight. Leave it. Let it be, you know. We all um, have to be much more mature. And in the end, I want her to change. I told her, I have tough love for you. You need, you need tough love. And this is what she needs. But irrelevant now. Back to this. So I'm listening to what they're saying. And they're just basically saying that, that I don't speak to my mother. And it's strange. Well, there are narcissistic evil parents out there that that abuse their children. And they have no love. And they're mean. I'm not asking anybody to understand my situation. I'm not going to go into it. But there are parents that are out there like that. So yes, there's a reason why I don't speak to my mother. I have reasoning. That I stayed two years in the restaurant. Yeah, but it is because I was it was COVID and nobody back then knew how long was it gonna last. Was it gonna be a few months? Was it gonna be half a year, one year, two years? In the end it in the end it it ended up being three years, huh? Three years, yeah. So nobody expected three years and everybody, you know, is just waiting, you know, because you think you don't know what's with this pandemic. Is it going to stop and everything's going back? You don't know how to plan your life. So and then the depression hits you and you just fucking stop to plan. You're just like, I'm just going to let the universe decide what's going to happen. If it stops COVID, fine, I move. If not, I just stay and I wait. I wait. And let's not continue. And I had other plans, depressive ones. But in the end, you saw COVID finished and my life moved on. And I managed to leave the island. Resumed my life. Got married. Happy with my Steve. Having a peaceful life. A happy, peaceful life. I got what I needed. Maybe not what I wanted, my, but in the end, I never knew what I wanted. I never had any idea. So now I'm very satisfied. And and I think there's people out there that maybe they are not happy when they hear me like this. They don't understand, but they will understand. Their time will come. Everybody's time comes and they understand. But okay, I blabbered too much. So let's listen. Like yeah, but I have an apartment in Austria. I have an apartment in Romania. House in Austria. In Bali, I didn't have a house. I had a family villa, which my mother didn't let me use. It's a completely different story. And I was living in villas as, as well. But because of COVID, I didn't extend a contract. I didn't make a new contract because I was thinking, or I go home, or who knows what's going to happen. I said, okay, a few months, I can stay in the restaurant. Well, from those few months that I was expecting to stay, a few months turned out to be two years. It just flew by. But I spent it in girl world. I got something out of it, right? I'm just saying, when she was living in a room... Me, I will live with my mother and my brother and sister. I know, in one I know, room, I know. And I know. Have to live somewhere else. I know. I know. I don't care, you know? Just the people don't think before they speak. Why are you, Didi, why are you taking my sunglasses look? This is my look. Take them off right now. This is my look. You're stealing my look. I don't like it at all. Person I see, like, why? How come? You know, then I went something. So, let's see. I see my, my time was wasted. She don't see in that way. She 
Oh, shut the fuck up. I don't. Shut up, man. Shut up. You were writing with me two years. Why were you writing with me two years? You could have not responded. You were the one that was enticing and responding and everything. You could have not responded, you moron. Two years you continued it as well. So shut up. <laughs> What the hell are you doing, Chinta? Calm the fuck down. Okay, guys, so I made my point. I had a laugh and I'm glad I can share it with you. Like I said, I wanted to get angry with these people and they'd be like, oh, what are you talking about? But I can't. I, I can't. It's not in me. It, it has no point for me to be angry with them. Like I said, I feel kind of bad for them in some way, but not really. Peace, peace, peace.